Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, Shem Yahweh all praises to the world calls God. It's the true name in the Hebrews, Yahweh by Shem in the name of Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching's word to with truth and sincerity. Um, I'm the brother Taz Bond of Great Millstone, Arizona Camp, Laura Will with another video to edify. And I want to go on this article, right? The brother put this in the chat. I had to hit on it. It says more than 20 black staffers leave the Biden White House, causing concerns of a, of a black exit. Some staffers reportedly carry, uh, carry feelings that black staff aren't valued and don't have advancement opportunities. It says upon assuming his tenants... Uh, um, um, upon assuming his tenure as president, Joe Biden promised that his staff would, would reflect the diversity of the nation, and he did open the doors for people of uh, of all backgrounds to come in, but those doors, for some, have swung both ways, right? And so, when this thing kicked off, somehow this, this devil was coming off to a lot of you, Jake, as, as the great white hope. Right? You thought you was going to sit here and break ground. You know, you, you're going to be the captain of the industry that this devil never gave you the opportunity for. You know, black wealth was just going to spring up. Jake really put their trust in him now. Remember, he had this whole panel. I want to start by saying. He met with these people. And he, uh, he, he essentially told him, hey, look, I, I did this. I did that. Nobody else did that for you. So y'all need to shut up, right? He basically told him straight up, right? And these, uh, amongst your so-called leaders, he was able to just sit them down like little children and tell them to shut up. This is my show. You niggas just watch, right? You ain't got nothing to say, right? But now here it is a few years later, and now niggas got buyer's remorse, Right? You got in the White House, just like Jay-Z made that song, Still Nigga. Right? It says, according to a new report, what some are claiming is normal and expected staff uh, staff turnover as 20 black staff workers leave the White House job. Others have dubbed the departure of Blacksit. In a report published by political nine current, uh, nine current and former White House staffers shared in interviews that despite some employees leaving on good terms and for family and other personal reasons, there is a climate that uh, that some other black employees find discouraging. It says in news websites quoted, uh, uh, quoted an unnamed staffer as saying, they brought in a ton of black people generally to start without ever uh, establishing an infrastructure to retain them or help them be successful. It says, or help them be successful. Uh, you uh, It says, you became just a invis as invisible in this, in this space than you would be if you were not in it. Right? So now they're having buyer's remorse. Jake put their trust in man. Right? Let's get that. This is, um, Isaiah 31 and, and, and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, that stay, up, stay on horses and trust. And chariots because they are many, and a horse because they, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek, uh, Yahweh, right? They 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 don't they don't they fully trust in the staff of Egypt. Let me find that one, man. That's a good one. Yeah, here it is, thirty six. Says uh, Isaiah thirty six and six. It says, Lo, thou trustest in the staff. In the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, 
whereon if a man lean it will go into his hand and pierce it so is pharaoh king of egypt to all that trust in him and this is just a show of it right the pharaoh the new pharaoh you know sleepy joe now jake has this whole negative feeling because they feel like they're not getting a fair shake and because they don't feel like they're getting a fair shake now that now they're griping complaining but the prophets told you this the prophets told you it wasn't going to help you to sit here and bow the knee, right? Seeking love, right? Because a lot of them niggas that got in that position, they were given that position. Now they had to compromise a lot of stuff. And they're mad that they're not moving them along the ranks like others. This is Jeremiah 2 and 33. It says, why trimmest, this, why trimmest thou thy, thy way to seek love? Therefore has thou taught, also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Right? They trim their way to seek the love of the so-called white man and what? It's not, it's not paying out the dividends that they want. They're not able to advance as, as all, all the other Edomites. Man, I've said it before. You're never going to be on the same level as these devils. So you sitting there trimming your way to sit here and be on that level makes no sense. They never had a mindset to sit here and have you on their level. To them, that's an insult. And Biden, he ain't no different. This is the same nigga who made made three strikes a thing. He's the one who wrote the legislation on that. Put you niggas in jail uh, indefinitely, right? Then, then, not only that, he sat there and came up with the legislation to, uh, to put people in jail for drugs while his son was smoking crack. But he didn't put his, his son in jail. You see, this nigga's never been for your benefit, but Jake is getting what? They're getting cold-hearted because the devil done used them up. Esau has used Jake up, and now he's hurt. What does the scripture say? It says, um, let me get this one. It's Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, say Yahweh, that they counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Hey, and this is what Jacob's done. They, instead of them sitting there and listening to the prophets, because, hey, at this point, all, all everybody heard about the Israelites. People were asked what we thought about presidential candidates and everything. What y'all think about Biden? What y'all think about Trump? And they got the answer. They were told that they're not even supposed to vote for these people because they're not of their same nation. And you all still did it. And look what it's doing. You can't pay rent. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, he gave you, what, $1,200? With $2,000 altogether? And now what? He's crashing your economy. Demand destruction is getting set in. And now you're looking at this nigga sideways because nothing that he's doing is helping. It says, uh, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acts in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, right? That's why they wanted to be in the, the government. That's why they wanted to be part of that cabinet, right? This nigga was the new Clinton. It says, to trust in, in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of, of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. And that's what's happening now for for the ones that have sold out and gotten to those upper positions and it's going to trickle down and it's it's going to it's going to hit the brass tax every day jake that voted for this nigga now what no more legislation is going to come out that's against you and this nigga's a career politician he knows how to write that legislation he's using the executive orders he's he he had entire uh people that studied the law to sit here and get, get past those certain things, man. So we're in those times. We're in those times, man. Where, where more and more you're going to have confusion and shame for the fact that you trusted in this devil. Right? You go to the pocket where it tells you, uh, it
13, uh, Sirach 13 and, um, and 2. It says, Burden not thyself above thy power, while thou livest, and have no fellowship with, with one that is mightier than, and richer than thyself. Right? But Jake wanted to be joined buddy and buddy. They wanted to be on the same level. This is how the Lord tells you to move in these times. And it's cold too, because really, when you really read this, and you understand how Jake dealt in the past, we were simple in our interaction between each other. Right? Very simple in our interaction between each other. That's why the scriptures tell you in, 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 uh, in malice be children, but in wisdom be men, right? Roughly paraphrasing. So we didn't understand the intricacies of how the other nations actually really do. So the Lord gave us a, 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 a groundwork of how to move, right? It says, have, and, and have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself, right? America, their, pre their presidents, but Jake wanted to be all cool with them. Niggas, you know, niggas is out there right now with pictures that they tuck with the damn president acting like they doing something big or they did something big. It says, for how agreed the kettle with the earth and uh, it says, how agreed the kettle with the earth and pot together for for if the one be smitten against the other, it shall be broken. And what right now in the position we are, where the earth and pot, he's the fucking kettle. He's stronger than us. He has the military, he has the money, he has the laws. He makes them for himself. So what agreement does it have? It says the rich man do, have done wrong, and yet he threateneth with all. The poor is wrong, and he must entreat also. Right? And that's the position that Jake is in. You can be wrong. This devil can sit, clearly do some off shit, but he'll sit here and talk big and bad in your face and get you the fuck out of there. Right? It says verse 4. If thou be for his prophet, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. And that's what that's what this devil's doing, man. If you're gonna be for his prophet, he's gonna use you. He's gonna give you an opportunity to do this, do that, get this, get that. Right? He's gonna prop you up, he's gonna use you as a stepping stone to get his stuff approved, to get more votes. But we're in a time now where he no longer needs needs your approval he's got the all the little tiny policies in line for him to set up his own laws without having to even bring it towards congress it says if thou have anything he will leave he will live with thee yeah he will make thee bear and will not be sorry for it right if he have need of thee he will deceive thee and smile on thee right Look. This this is this is example. That panel he was smiling on these niggas and look at him. Nobody in this. Let's let's, let's uh, let me pull this up. It's a big deal, and an awful lot more. We have an enormous amount of work to do, not just to reverse Trump's action. Hey, everybody's face had a had a lighthearted thing, but you fast forward into this. Don't nobody look happy. Look at him. Now they're trying to suppress all over this country. Look at them. Everybody look like they're depressed. They they, they feel like they get been juped. Because this nigga big bodied them in a the fucking meeting. Right? So it says, if he if he have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee and put thee in hope. He will speak thee fair and say, what what wants is thou? And that's where these people are that are leaving. This whole black shit out of the White House. That's where they are. They're in that position to where now they're, they're saying, you know, he's looking at them saying, what one is thou? Because they want to sit here and, and move up the ranks. And he, he, he looking at them like, I never promised you niggas that. Right? That's the, that's what they're seeing. Man, it's, it's always going to disappoint you to put trust in this fucking devil, man. It's always going to disappoint you. You're never going to be satisfied. He's never going to give you a fair shake. That's not what he was set up for. He doesn't have a mindset to, of that. The scriptures tell you, you know, what was his mindset? He said, the days of mourning my father at hand, and then will I slay my brother Jacob. He doesn't have a mindset to give you a fair shake. 
You got these niggas like LeBron James is able to sit here and be the first active player to, to uh, be a billionaire. Right? But this nigga's a billionaire. He owns portions of, of certain teams and soccer teams. But he's not on the same level as nobody else. He's not able to get to that, that percentage that any of these Edomites will get to. They'll never let it happen. Jay-Z with the Knicks. Or the Knicks. Whatever the fuck it is, man. This 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 dude, you Jacob will credit him like he's done this amazing work being able to uh, uh being an owner of a team. This nigga owns a fraction of a fraction of a percent. And he's used to sit here and uh, fill seats. Because oh now this is Jay Z's nits. They'll let him say that as long as they're getting the money. Rick Ross, same position. With uh Wingstop. This nigga's a figurehead, he don't own shit. It says, um, verse 7, it says, And he will shame thee by his meats until he hath drawn thee dry twice or thrice. And at, it says, And at the last he will laugh thee to scorn. And af afterward, it says, And when he seeth thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee. Beware that thou be not deceived and brought down in, in thy jollity. And these Jake are getting deceived and now they're brought down in their jollity because they thought they were making big moves. When we told you to separate, you, you said, nah, man, we're going to vote. Can't change nothing if you don't vote. Well, here it is. You voted. You got in the office. Were you able to change nothing? No. Right? So expect more and more Jake to sit here and be like, you know what? There's no, there's no working with this devil. Because he's going to show his horns and it's going to be all against you. Right? So Lord willing this is edifying. I'm gonna say call law. Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai Bashimu Kokarash. Shalom.